So Gary, first off, good result on Saturday. Yeah. What were your <laughs> What were your take on it? No, I thought it was a really good team performance. I thought um, we had a game plan that we were working to, and um, pretty much it came off how how we wanted it to come off. And um, no, it was another step forward for us. It was a a big boost for the for the players and and everyone involved. So. Um, no, all in all, it was a good day. Three points. That was the most important bit. Is it a relief to get that first one of the season? No, because as I said before, we're working in a good way. We have a big belief. You can see the belief in the players and, and everyone involved in what we're doing here. And and we know it takes time. Um, I've said this from the very start. And um, we took another step forward on, on Saturday. Um, probably a bigger step, um, which was good to see. And um, we got the deserved three points. So no, we believe in what we're doing here. Do you feel that you're getting your style of play across to the players now and the fact that the results are coming is a positive for you? Of course the results give confidence to the players but um, from day one the attitude towards the work that we're doing, the plan that we have, um, the players have brought into that and really worked hard at it um, and like I said we're not the team that we want to be just yet, um, it, it takes a lot of time, we've got new players, new way of working, new methods and um, each day they're trying to improve, improve that and um, improve on that sorry. Um, and get better as a team and then eventually given time that we can implement more of our style, more of our play but um, we can get results in, um, in the meantime and, and be consistent, that's what we're trying to get to as a team so um, no, it's very very pleasing at the moment but you know the league, you know you know how it is, it's a very tough league, you can get setbacks which I'm sure there will be but if we can keep improving how we have been um, we should be in for you know, what hopefully will be a successful season. Liam Bridcut came in for a lot of praise, what sort of impact did he have since coming in? No, he did great. Um, it's his first 90 minutes, um, considering he hasn't played a lot of football in pre-season. Um, so I thought he did exceptionally well. But I thought him, along with all the others, they epitomised what the team did. And, and every single one of them um, did a tremendous amount of work. They really focused on what we were trying to do and, and our game plan and, and, um, and took it onto the pitch and, and really took another step forward. Um, I think you've seen in all the games we've improved in certain elements. Um, so it was pleasing to see another improvement on Saturday, but we have an important week coming up, um, two really important games before that international break. Um, it's important that we go into that international break with, with some good results and good performances behind us, and then again get time to settle in the new players, get to work on, on our plan that we have and, and try and improve that and use that, that period really well to come out the other side and, and really try and have a good September. Looking ahead to the important week, obviously Luton up next. What are you expecting from Luton? Well, you know, you saw the game against Fleetwood, and I think you saw from all the all the teams that played in the last round how difficult it is um, in the cup competitions, um, especially when you're away from home. Um, you saw a lot of championship sides knocked out. And we did very well to come through that test against Fleetwood, so you know midweek cup games are very, very tough, and Luton will be no different. And um, So we know what to expect, and um, we have to be ready. We have to show the same attitude and and um, desire that we showed against Fleetwood in, in the game against Luton. So um, that's what we are going to be focused on. That's our mentality going down there, and, and we want to try and give the same type of performance. Any injury news ahead of the game? Anybody missing? No, everyone came through the game um, unscathed, which was good. It's pleasing. Um, like I said, it's only Berardi at the moment that, it, that is injured, but as, as before, so it, it stays the same. Are you set to make any changes? Are we going to see Pontus Janssen in at all, or is it going to be a similar side to the weekend? That's for me to assess the players. Uh, obviously, we've got another day's training today um, to assess the players and have a look at them. Um, we've had a lot of games um, in short periods, so you, of course you have to bear that in mind, but really it'd be picking a team that, as I always do, to go down there and we want to win the game. That's our aim. We want to try and get progress in the cup and, and put a good cup run together. So I'll try and pick the team that feels best, you know, considering all, all the things that you need to consider when you're picking a team. Um, and we'll go down there and try and, like I said, try and put on the same type of display and attitude and performance that we did against Fleetwood. How important is a good cup run for you? Well, no, it's always it's a great comp competition. I think this country has the best comp you know, domestic cup competitions in the world. So I've always enjoyed them um, as a player. I enjoyed them as a manager. Um, and obviously they're a big part of we can keep the momentum going that we've got. And that's always important in football is the momentum. and. We want to win games, and it's another game for us to, to try and win. So um, I think it's important that we approach the game like that. Is it tough to motivate the lads against a side two divisions below? Not at all. I think you saw our motivation against Fleetwood. Um, we were very motivated, and we understood that it was going to be a very difficult game. Um, and Luton will be no different. You know, they're a very good side. 
they'll be looking at it as a big challenge. They'll try and use the underdog tag um, again to motivate themselves. But we have to be ready like we were against Fleetwood and, and really try and put on a performance. And like I said, keep the momentum that we have right now going. Um, two really important games before that international break. We want to try and go into an international break on a high. Looking outside of the game tomorrow, obviously, there's just over a week to go in the transfer window. You're probably sick of questions about comings and goings, but are we set to see anybody else come in before the window closes? Well, I think, like you said there, when that window closed, we have to be happy that we have the squad capable of being very competitive in this league. I think, of course, we're still looking to strengthen. We still could maybe do um, with a little bit more strengthening, which I'm sure the club's working very hard. Um, hard on behind the scenes but um, I'm very focused on my group and, and improving them they're the most important part to me right now but um, if we can strengthen uh, and when that window closes we, we can then be happy with with the squad and the, the type of squad the, the strength of the squad going into the rest of the season and finally Charlie Taylor was quoted as saying that his future is in his agent's hands on Saturday is that worrying that a player is putting his faith in somebody else to deal with his future is that a concern for you no his future's in the club's hands He's in our hands. He's, he's contracted to Leeds United, and um, I thought you saw from Charlie's performance how committed he's been. I thought he did very well again, um, and how focused he was on 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 his teammates and helping the team and helping Leeds United, and then that's the way it will be.